Alright, so welcome to a little behind the scenes of uh, Roadkill here. First off, we're in uh, the brand new truck, Stubby Bob. We're in the uh, rear mounted truck that I tried so hard to do wheelies and we've brought the thing out to the, uh, the desert. As you can see, well, not the desert, but the, uh, the hills of Utah here. And we're going to see if this thing can wheelie. So what we've done to the truck is that we upgraded the turbos some more. The front shocks are removed. As you can see in there, it's only the leaf springs in the front. And we gave the thing better tires in the back that grip really easy so I'm hoping that this thing can do some pretty good wheelies and my goal is to get the back end of the thing in the ground that is my goal also with the uh, car papa wheelie like I did with the front end I lowered the front tire pressure and I made the rear tire pressure as high as it can go and this this should work stubby bob should do a wheelie so what I'm doing is repping the engine all the way up to 35 psi oh yes Oh yes, it did a wheelie. It did a wheelie. Now my question is... I think I need to cheat it a little bit. So I want to head down the road here a little bit. And I want to see if... Uh, Maybe if I could cheat it, just a little bit. I would be very happy if I could just cheat this a little bit. Other than that, the truck runs really well. I think the only issue with it is that the motor isn't really correctly mounted, so whenever the truck turns, the motor kind of kicks the rear end out. best of trucks. Let's try. Let's try. Now, I extensively worked on Stubby Bob because I was very, very, very determined to get this thing to do wheelies. Also, I'm already going up hills like, a, like I'm saying that would be cheating it but I want to go all the way up to the top here where I'm not going to drive over the side with this thing crazy but not that crazy let's just slide over these because why not just thinking about it this thing is probably already pretty uncomfortable Except for this one, because this one could break the truck. But I mean, this thing gets up and goes. It's a really, really reliable and good truck. I like it. This is a good truck. So this thing is going to be sticking around, whether if it can get the rear end of the ground or right here is good. The flash is on for safety. First gear, we'll let the tool or the turbo spool up. Alright. Hold the clutch down. Rev the engine, get it up to 35. 
Oh, yes. 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 That is amazing. Let's do that again. Rev it up. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this thing is insane. You could have cheated a little bit for it to do wheelies. I don't know how I haven't ruined this front suspension on this thing. Are you not? Let's rev it up. Let's let her go down the hill. This thing is absolutely amazing, and I'm glad that I held my promise to get this thing in the air, and it finally wheelies like it should have. So that whole episode is complete success now. I am happy. And it does wheelies on its own, like, that's the cool part, like right here, I'll, I'll sit here, rev the engine up. If it was on a better surface, then I think it would. You know, let me try going up this hill. Might be pretty entertaining. It might do one here. It might actually do a good wheelie. I'm trying to keep the camera centered on the track. Oh. Oh, it can hear! Oh my god! And the leaf springs aren't even affected. I gotta say, this truck is tough. It does not break. Let's try it here. It's a little bit less of a incline. Oh my god. Oh god, this is where the truck breaks. Yep. Well, <laughs> there you go. I think anybody could possibly tell me messing around in a truck that could do wheelies on a blind hill. It's eventually gonna break. But, yeah. There you go. Stubby Bob did her wheelie.